In this video, I want to show you some of the drawing capabilities in Inspire Studio. To access drawings, you can click the tab in the model browser, or you can click the drawing tab in the ribbon. If this is your first sheet in your model, you'll see this control panel. Use this to select your sheet size, select the projection type, or add a uh, border to your drawing. You can get back to any of those settings by clicking preferences here in the ribbon. So once you've set up your sheet, uh, you can begin placing views of your model. So I'll click the view set and when you do that, you'll have to select the objects you want to include in the view. Uh, for this example, I only have one object, so I can go ahead and select that. And then right click to go back to placing views. And then just left click to place that view on your sheet. Uh, now that I have a view, I can edit that and create other views. So I'll just go ahead and double click to edit. And before I create my views, I want to set my scale. So you can do that by clicking the icon in the lower right of the view. Uh, from here I can uh, turn on hidden lines or turn off hidden lines. Uh, I also can create a scale. So instead of one to one, I think I want one half or one to two scale. Also while editing a drawing view, you can click and drag to reposition that view. So we'll put this in the lower left. And now I can go ahead and place additional views. It's very simple. All I have to do is click the arrows here that are shown around the border of my view. And that drops in those child views. All right, now that I've got a few views of, of my model here in, in my sheet, uh, I can go ahead and start adding annotations. Uh, so you can see you've got some different dimension types that you can uh, add to your views or you can use the annotation tool to add custom annotations. I'm gonna start by dropping in some linear dimensions here. So I'm just picking points uh, to set what the dimension uh, controls or, or measures. And then I'll click to position the dimension. So again, I'm just clicking two points to set uh, what I'm, I'm dimensioning and then left click to drop it in there. Uh, I might also, I've got some holes here so I may want to throw in a, a radial dimension. And I think that looks good just to, <laughs> to have an example. Uh, I also can, if I look down at my front view, uh, I might want to add a, a custom annotation, right? So it's not a dimension, it's just something with some text. So I'm going to drop that annotation in here. And maybe this is just a note about that hole. So I'm going to come into my control panel and we will say maybe it's a diameter 38 mm and it is a through hole so i can add text i can control what the arrowhead looks like and that looks good there so you can see now i've, I've just got that note here for that hole there's also a couple different view types you can add uh, let's look at section view so to create a section view I'm just going to pick the parent view and then you can see it attaches the section line here to my cursor. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop that into the center of my, my part and then let's drop the view in here. Again, I can double click and then click and drag to reposition so I can line it up to the first view. Looks good. Uh, so you can see it automatically hatches. Uh, if I double click the section view, uh, I can edit the, the section line. Move it around if I decide I need to change that. And you can see your section view automatically updates. I also could, uh, to complete the annotations here, I could add a title block. So I'm gonna click the table command that drops that here in the lower right and then to add cells in here I can just grab this corner and drag so I can drag down just drag to add a vertical split there 
and then I can click in the cells to populate. So maybe I put my name in here and let's change the text size. This guy, and let's go in here and we'll throw the date in here. And again, let's make this that same 10 millimeters height. And throw something in here. So maybe a company name. And this is a bigger cell, so maybe we want 20 millimeters there. All right, so that's my title block there. Um, again, to edit views, all I have to do is double click. And I can continue to add views from there, or if I want to position this, I can drag. And you can see with child views, it's uh, locked in to the line to the parent view. So this one, I can only move up and down. Uh, this guy here, if I double click, I can only move right and left. Uh, so it just helps you keep your views aligned. And finally, uh, once I've got this sheet completed, uh, if I want to continue to create manufacturing drawings to document this design, uh, all I have to do is come in and click sheet again. That adds another sheet here in my browser. I'd go through that control panel uh, with those same options we saw at the beginning and continue to create drawings. Uh, to go back and look at your model, I just click on the tab here in the model browser. It takes me back to the model where again I can toggle to go back and look at my drawings. So that gives you a quick intro to drawings in Inspire Studio.